Warren Buffett's Apple purchase, 75 million shares, legendary. It sent the stock surging to record highs, all-time record highs. Right now, Apple at $187.08. But as Buffett plots his next move, which tech companies should the Oracle of Omaha put on his shopping list? He traditionally does not like tech. Uh, but I want to bring in Jeff Powell. He's the managing partner at Polaris Greystone Financial Group. Uh, the reason, Jeff, he told me he liked Apple was because he looked at it as a consumer business, a consumer products business, not tech. But you say there are companies that might fit into his new window of technology. Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, technology is always evolving. We have uh, companies in artificial intelligence, as you guys were just talking about a few day, a few moments ago, that really kind of fit into many different places within uh, consumer discretionary and uh, and technology very easily. So, what are the names that you would, if you had Warren Buffett's ear and you got to whisper right into it, what would you say? Well, the biggest name in artificial intelligence chip manufacturing right now is NVIDIA, uh, followed cl not so closely by AMD as well. Uh, both companies are, are very big into the artificial intelligence, very big into virtual reality. Uh, NVIDIA is uh, really big into all the automated cars, things of that nature as well. Uh, if you look at the company and the company stock, it's done absolutely amazingly over the last couple of years. You know what? Um it's, he couldn't buy the company outright. He told me he has about $107, 100000000000 billion in cash. The market cap of NVIDIA is $155 billion, But wow. you're saying pick up the stock, right? Well, maybe he just buys two-thirds of it instead of the whole thing. I'm sorry that we don't have enough money there to get it, the, the whole thing. But there's there's a myriad of, of, of areas in technology that really fit that mold. I mean, if you look at, you had MasterCard on just a minute ago. I mean, if you think about that, it's a technology company, yeah. but it's really dealing with consumer discretionary needs. Okay. Um, Cisco and Microsoft are the other two. Bill Gates has sat on the Berkshire board for years, and Buffett has never bought Microsoft. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why he'd start now. Make the case. You know, again, kind of playing into a very similar role, some of the software companies. If you look at some of the, the really old names of technology, Microsoft, Cisco, Intel, a lot of these older technology names, they're really starting to pick up. Microsoft, for the first time since 2000, mm -hmm. last year, broke out. So we've got a company that's really starting to drive its earnings, really starting to be a very good consumer product. Okay.